uh, let's start the next part here uh, this is the angular application that i created i referred one tutorial from medium but uh, i don't feel uh, like doing this way so i'll explain once we go step by step what i feel that should be a good practice and what should be what should not be here and what should be here let me go to github in this github page you will find that uh, again there are a few issues but uh, the files are available this is the service for angular and this is the component for angular also html um, html part is added right here you can just see it is here and iframe is also here so the css part now in the service so i just copied i just created a service and copied the entire code you will have to probably rename the class name if you have if you choose different class name otherwise everything should be same once it is done you have to install npm install uh, superset ui embedded sdk this is the sdk that superset have provided so you will have to install it and once it is installed then you are good to go and you can import this dependency otherwise others are common for most of the things you, you already might be knowing all of them now what it needs superset url where we will be putting our superset url i'm just going to go here copy this part and paste right away right here superset is okay there is two https uh i'm not going to put slash because i am not sure if it is bug or not but uh, i've i actually spent an entire day on when there was not a slash here and there was not a slash here and it was throwing course issue so i was just figuring out what it was so i'm not going to do any risky things in this tutorial so next we're going to do api url superset is having their own api documentation it is right here and you will find all the things so make sure you just copy this slash wherever it is and wherever it is not there then you must avoid putting it here just like that okay once we are here in this place we have the superset url superset api url and dashboard id we just copy all these things from superset now uh, this is something that i created for our superset this is the embedded admin uh, this is a user that we created uh, I'm going to superset and create this user and uh, this is not a good practice but anyway I'm going to quickly add him the role of admin because creating a role and uh, putting everything it might take time so I'm just going to do this 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 enable this at direct example.com then role admin uh, we will create different role probably uh, I'll list down what are the permission needed so I saved this user and so this is something like an admin role so the credentials for the admin role should not be here so that's why I'm saying this is not a good practice you can have a different application say a lambda function or something that is having this port so even not in lambda function you will store it in some secured token service or secure sorry secret service or something and then you will use that in lambda function to create this uh, id token but for this tutorial we'll be putting it here so first is logging you will be logging with admin or some uh, some user that is having a good amount of permissions or entire thing so you can have admin here and then once you log in what it does it will then ask for guest token so now you got a access token for admin and now we will be moving for access token for our guest user so for the user where exactly we will be looking from so the report to your user so the third user the or end user i am going to repeat this part again admin user who is going to create credential for end user admin user will have a lot of permission end user will have specific permission and the access token for this end user will be created by this admin user so first we call this the api that is the login api using admin user and then once this token is available we are going to call next api that is guest token api this is for the guest user or the end user where 
will be providing okay credential for which dashboard then what is going to be the username and so on so see here there is no credential because you are already authorized with this admin user and then you can have things like rls so the rls part i removed but we do have rls part where this access token the guest token will only have access to specific rls and so on so that part is not available as of now here but we will go into deep once we move to rls part and at the end we're going to call this guest token api and it is going to return another token by, by using this token we are going to actually embed our dashboard so this is another angular so this is the embed dashboard uh, function from their sdk and this okay we might have issue here are we using it somewhere okay then let me change it i'm just putting double d here or huh, i'm not sure exactly okay so you and in this place again we will put you so okay this embed dashboard this is the sdk one what they need it needs id of the dashboard that we just got when we when we uh, clicked on embed by adding our domain in ui and that is this one dashboard id then where it went okay then we want superset domain that is the domain of superset then where we have to mount okay so this part is it needs id so for example here we have a div with id superset so that same id i have pasted or uh, that is available here then fetch guest token so the token that is the guest token that we have is going to be here then there are some configurations you can ignore them but uh, i was using them in my application so i just kept it here hide title we don't need hide we don't need title because we already might have a hide application titles then chart control height tabs filters uh, you might so we are using rls so there is a two layers but this doesn't work so even if it it, it just collapse it but it will have that uh, button to make it visible then we have standalone show filters and so on many of them works but uh, this filter related as i am feeling that those are not working at least for me so this is how our service will look like now our service is uh, once our service part is done we are going to go to our component this is straightforward we are just calling our ser service this is uh, we are we have a constructor and we have injected our service and inside this service you can just see that we are just calling and logging our response that's it again in html we have the same div and for this div once we uh, have that super setter dashboard at embedded it will be like iframe so again this part i copied from that tutorial so it will have iframe so we are setting min height and min width very good so, uh, 100 uh, vw or view height and view width probably that is what it is and it will just create a entire 100 percent uh, view for your application okay so our com uh, our uh, uh, application is ready let me quickly start the server so let me quickly start the server npm start our server is ready i'm going to go to localhost colon 4200 and we might have some issue console no provider for http client uh, this is something that I think I can figure out by my own. If that is the case, then okay, we do have app model.ts. Then in import, we need HTTP client model. Is it probably that is what we need? okay 
let's quickly refresh it and that error is gone now it says guest token bad request okay so the first part is clear that our login part is working now it is saying the guest token is bad request so here we have issue so before that let's quickly console dot log our access token if we have it or not okay so our access token is here so it is looking fine then it's a trip api one security guest token bad request let's go to this I guess this is causing the issue I should keep it blank but it should be here okay so now our super set is rendering it is small but uh, at least it is rendering Now let me quickly go here and change from iframe to div. Let's see if it works. And it worked. No, it didn't work. Not here. Okay, let it be. So that is just a CSS, CSS error. You might just go to inspect and just click here like what it is HTML then iframe and then iframe you can just say okay here what is not allowing mean height pin width equal to 100 percent and then it will just show 100 percent then min width equal to 100 percent and okay both of them width mean height equal to 100 percent and then again it will show 100 percent and 100 percent something like that so that is just CSS, you can just figure it out or I will put it in the GitHub once this video is over. And uh, so that's it for this video. So this is how we are going to embed superset into our Angular application using the credential, proper RLS, proper security and course. Uh, if you like this video, do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.